What happened after the Prometheus movie when Elizabeth Shaw left the moon, LV-223? Well, in the comic book, Prometheus, Fire and Stone, a story was explained. Now, the story starts off in the year 2090, which is about one year after the events of the Prometheus movie. A probe is sent to the moon, LV-223, and as it landed, it scans the area, only to get crushed by an engineer's foot. This gives us a clue that there is still at least one other engineer on this moon. Then they fast forward the story's timeline to the year 2219, which is more than 120 years after the events of Prometheus. A crew on board the spacecraft called Geryon is believed to be on a routine salvage mission. A crew member named Clara starts recording a documentary about her mission by using a pup device similar to the ones we saw in the Prometheus movie. As the team arrives on the moon, they come across a lush jungle filled with strange alien life forms. This is different from what the Prometheus crew experienced over 120 years ago when it was a barren, empty environment. As the group ventures forward, they come across a field of dead creatures and a lake of black goo. Francis takes a sample of the goo to study it later on. Then they come across an alien ship and unwillingly open the doors to unleash xenomorphs that kill some of the crew. The survivors try to make their way across the lake and some members of the team fall into the water with mutated sharks waiting down below. These mutated creatures seem to have some features that resemble the Deacon alien from the Prometheus movie. This team then continues on to find a derelict spacecraft where an alien-like weapon is found. Meanwhile, in a cave located away from this incident, Francis and Eldon study some research left behind by a previous person. Francis assumes that the black goo is what formed the jungle. By his predictions, he assumes the black goo can cure diseases like cancer due to its genetic mutation process. Francis injects Eldon with the black goo and has some unexpected results. Eldon gets a burning sensation. His flesh starts to melt off and he mutates. Francis fears for his life and abandons his longtime friend and tries to run away, only to be caught up by Eldon later on. Then Francis runs back to his ship. He meets up with his crew members to find the ship surrounded by xenomorphs. As Eldon emerges, he is ignored by the alien xenomorphs and opens the ship doors to allow the aliens inside to wreak even more havoc on any survivors. Now at this point, some crew members return to the derelict spacecraft and deep within, they find a laboratory that was used to create other life forms. Clara remains in this area to document all of it and is later joined by Weddell. The two of them are surrounded by aliens and then an unexpected engineer shows up to save them. Then, as the two express their gratitude for being saved, the engineer vaporizes them with the same weapon. At this point, Eldon is inside the Helio ship, and along with some aliens, he takes control of the ship and sets off to find Francis. Now back on the moon, only Angel, Chris, and Jill are the remaining survivors of this encounter. They make their way back to a cave and are left stranded unless help arrives. So the story then gets continued in the fire and stone issues and along with the life and death issues. They expanded on the story by including more engineers, the black goo, aliens, predators, and they even bring up the maps that were seen in other caves during the Prometheus movie. Now what I liked about the story is that it showed us that something else happened on a moon that we presumed had no other life forms. But at the same time, it did not give us an explanation of what happened to Shaw. I'm also curious if the Deacon alien was still alive during this time period. So what do you guys think about this story? Put your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to see more content around the Alien and Predator universe. Thanks for watching. My name is Asaglow, and I'll see you in the next video.